having an IMF program in Iceland, which the IMF program goes very much into privatization of everything. Um, but um, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, really the spirit in Iceland right now, having only like 1.3% of the nation saying yes to this uh, ISAF deal and 93% saying no, uh, there is really a spirit of uh, or demand from the general public that uh, uh, the parties move beyond party politics and start to work for us, not I and I and I. It's really a time for people, parties and people to start to focus on uh, joint solutions beyond party politics. You've got to circle so, the wagons uh, against the bankers. Stay there. We're going to come back and take calls for Brigitte jones Dottier. I'm Alex Jones. Calls only for her on the banking cartel. We'll also talk about are the people of Iceland excited they've had this big victory? How will the banking empire strike back? 1-800-259-9231. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun. So go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath the Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi everyone, Andy Anderson here. Are you using those little bottles of hand gel that kill germs, bacteria, and other nasties? In today's world, that's smart, especially with the filthy doorknobs, shopping carts, and handrails we touch every day. Did you know that once the alcohol evaporates in a few seconds, goodbye effectiveness. No more protection till you use it again. Pure works to the rescue. Our FDA compliant foam, lotion, soap, and spray do not contain alcohol. Their killing power lasts up to four hours. Pure works disinfecting spray is EPA certified to kill swine flu, bird flu, MRSA, HIV, hepatitis B and C, and for our friends in medicine, kills C. diff, along with a whole host of viruses and bacteria, molds and fungus too. It's even safe around pets and children. You'll love how your skin feels with Pure Works, soft and supple. No more dry skin. Here's to a little peace of mind knowing that your hands are still germ-free hours later. Call now, toll-free, 888-245-0300 to get your hands on Pure Works and get Pure Works on your hands. That's 888-245-0300. We are back live. I've got a bunch of Twitter questions that came in on the Twitter account, the radio show Twitter account. We've also got callers like Rick and Herman and others for our guest, Brigitte jones Dottier, member of the Icelandic Parliament. And that is coming up in one moment. Joining us via video Skype from Iceland for the PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, adding another dimension to the radio slash TV multimedia broadcast transmission. I want to thank Acolablue.com for being great sponsors, also having a great product. I use it in my home. It's an atmospheric water generation system. They have smaller units that make 7.5 gallons a day and then send it through reverse osmosis carbon filtered systems. 
Uh, they have bigger units that can supply hundreds or even thousands of people. Uh, check it out at acolablue.com. That's E-C-O-L-O-B-L-U-E.com, acolablue.com, or call them and get a free information packet or learn more by calling 800 800- 691-6043. That's 800-691-6043. The best, purest, cleanest water you're going to find. This didn't come out of a sewage system. It didn't come out of a water system. It didn't um, come out of, you know, any government uh, system with fluoride and all the toxins and chemicals. It's out of the air. The clouds are rainwater. And that's what you get there. Also, uh, I want to uh, plug the online video bookstore at InfoWars.com. Your purchase of the videos and books makes this radio show possible. Plus, you get more informed and you get videos and books that will wake your friends and family up. People are really ready to be awakened now. And my film, Fall of the Republic, identifies who the real enemy of our country is, the private banking cartel. I got a lot of questions from Twitter and emails and callers that want to talk to uh, Ms. jones Dottier. But going back to the member of the Icelandic Parliament, one of the main leaders, successfully getting this uh, referendum through. How excited are the people about this referendum, and how is the establishment, the banking cartel, uh, striking back? Well, people are very happy. It was our first uh, national referendum. It was a historical day, and um, uh, we had uh, a little get-together on the Saturday night, and uh, it was the mood was fantastic. Uh, and uh, in general, I really hope that we can keep the spirit of uh, the nation joining together, and we need to move that uh, ambience into parliament um, and into the government as well so that they carry on the, the message from the nation. Uh, the bankers haven't really said much right now. Uh, I guess that they are planning their next, next strike. Um, uh, however, they're using uh, the British and the Dutch government uh, in their favor. And uh, it was a bit sad that our democratically elected prime minister decided to sit home sulking instead of participate in this uh, historical moment. Uh, and despite her doing that um, and thus giving a strong message to the biggest party in Iceland, people decided to go out and vote anyway. Um, <clears throat> But there are very many exciting things happening in Iceland, such as um, uh, we just spoke for a proposal uh, called, uh, which we call the Icelandic Modern Media Initiative, which has gained worldwide attention, uh, where we're suggesting uh, that Iceland will take the lead in uh, the freedom of speech, uh, freedom of information and uh, uh, freedom of expression by actually modernizing and pulling together the best possible legislation uh, to protect sources, journalists, uh, whistleblowers, publishers, and uh, IPS ho ISP hosts uh, in order to get that information out to the general public. In fact, I have the article right here, Icelandic Modern Media Initiative, saying the West is moving in Europe, England, the U.S., and Canada, and Australia to censor the Internet, to shut down free speech, Wired Magazine last week had the headline, Cybersecurity, the End of the Open Internet. This is really happening. And so now uh, you guys are moving to say, look, we'll allow WikiLeaks to be here. We'll allow independent journalism. We want people to move here and come here and put their servers here really as an information revolution. The people are finding the power they have to say no to the banks, and this is really growing. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I really hope that it... Uh I mean, it's for some reason Icelanders are right now a bit shy about uh, uh, placing themselves as doing anything that would be considered the best. They don't want to fall in the same pit. Uh, so I guess the most skeptical people about this uh, proposal are Icelanders. Uh, we, however, managed to get all the parties in Iceland on this, um, and uh, three party chair leaders. Um, so I'm actually quite optimistic that we can pass this through the parliament. Uh, uh, we're basically proposing or tasking the government to take on this challenge because it uh, requires a lot of legislative, legislative changes. Right. Uh, but, um, you know, in general, uh, it's been overwhelming, the support we've got uh, from all over the world. Uh, and now Greece and, and Spain and countless others are going to try to follow your example. This is a true revolution against the global banking dictatorship attempting to establish open world government and tyranny. I've got some uh, questions here from our Twitter page. Uh, and uh, again, it is a uh, repeat of some of the things I've been asking about. What are the consequences of not 
conforming. We just dropped our video connection to her. We'll, we'll, we'll get her back. And we're going to go through some of these uh, questions for her and your phone calls.